Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program. Today I've taken some real shots of my breguet. And uh, this is also, I'd like to show off the, uh, the fancy breguet box. It's the winged steel box. Now, personally, I don't know what the fuck they were doing when they designed this box. I mean, it's just... I just can't fucking understand it, but it's kind of like the Patek Ladies 24 box. That's that steel aluminium piece of shit. And, uh, yeah, the Breguet box is, uh, I don't know. You could use it to throw at your authorized dealer when you've realized how much the Breguet's depreciated. I don't fucking know. But, uh, anyhow, this is the Breguet. And, and i got to say, I love the Breguet. Now, I've had a lot of fuckers out there say, oh, Archie bought the Breguet because he couldn't afford the Daytona. Look, I'm not a huge Rolex fan. Too many fuckwits have Rolexes. And, uh, I mean, if I've bought the Breguet smartly on the used market, I'm paying... I paid about $5,000. It's not a lot of money for a flyback chronograph with a, with a leading name on the dial. It's using a Piaget movement it's an exclusive movement to breguet and uh i think it's a fucking nice watch i mean these mean nasty fuckers out there have said oh archie got that because he couldn't afford the daytona <clears throat> i would never have bought the daytona i did have a moral question many years ago before i bought the patek my good loyal listeners would know that i was deciding between getting a brand new daytona in steel or my Patek 5107 second hand and the Patek one. I mean, I've crossed that bridge and that's it. And uh, in my collection, I only have one representation of each brand. I don't have two of anything unless it's a ladies version and that's for my wife. And uh, my, my wife's been a fucking, she's been a wonderful woman. I love my wife. So that's, you know, I like to buy her beautiful things. And uh, the thing is this, look, look, these mean fuckers out there have said to me, you know, why, you know, it's a compromise, it's not, it's not the best one, there's better deals around, and blah, 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 well, fuck you, I'm Archie Luxury, it's my money, I buy what I think is good bang per buck, and uh, those fucking whingers out there, I bet you six months ago, they wouldn't have even known what a fucking breguet is. Or a fucking flyback. Does it, any of these pricks who are whinging, they know what even a Breguet flyback chronograph is? I mean, that's a cool fucker. And uh, i got to say, I love the Breguet. I love the Breguet. And uh, I've got old pictures. You know, if you look at some of my other videos, what would Archie do if he won the lotto? Archie's dream collection. The Urnvale or the, uh, the Transatlantic has always been at the top of my list. I've had this list for years. And uh, I, I, it's only now that, uh, you know, I've had some commercial success that I'm able to buy what the fuck I like. And, uh, you know, i got to be honest with you. You know, these are fucking, it's my choice. It's my money. Fuck off. And uh, i got to say honestly to you, I'm really, really in love with the Breguet. The Breguet is a great watch. It's quality. It's, uh, it's everything I want. It's got a history. Napoleon Bonaparte, one of my all-time greats, was a Breguet wearer. Uh, the only, only thing better for Breguet could be if, uh, if, you know, Putin started wearing a Breguet. You know, a despot and KGB agents. You know, it doesn't get any more grubbier or better than if a, uh, a corrupt Russian official. And they're all, how do you know a Russian f official is corrupt? They're all fucking corrupt. That's why. They're mean, nasty fuckers. And that's just what Hillary Clinton said. And she's a Democrat. Anyhow, I love my Breguet. I'm not going to cop this abuse from my viewers anymore. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you think.